everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're back on Cars Fast as Lightning. I decided to move stuff around from the last time we were in town just because I, I wanted to change. Changed lots of the pits around. I'd say the only areas that haven't changed too much are the... I think the police station's actually in the same place. Well, Guido's Ice Cream Shop and um, the Hippie's Place is still in the same place. I don't want to go too much into the expansions and the changes I've done today, because that is not the topic of today's video. Today, we will be doing something which will require lots and lots of fuel. And one gem. So granted, I will take the double, thanks to this little glitch. First, they send off the cars to their locations, not Rod's gym. And Italian man to his ice cream okay. shop. That's how he just does this animation, it's like, get the hell out. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But if we head over to the garage, you will see that I have upgraded Carla Veloso to the max I want her to be. Why is that? Well, today we are unlocking Shoe to the Rokey. I'll go. Th I'm going through the whole of Carla's career thingy, the tournament really, and we will win against every single one of them, or at least try to. And there'll be another step towards Lightning McQueen, but to be honest, I don't really care too much about that. We would just send Max to Miguel's pit. We're gonna be saving up for his pit now. Off to Carla's trek. <clears throat> Let's compete our first race, which will be Pit Easy against Ton Marcus. Right. Let's begin in three, two, one, go. And now we never see Ton Marcus again for the rest of the race. That pretty much sums up this entire race. We never see him again. He's just like with the balls, and I'm just like I'm fast and free. Get up. This is a basically warm up race. Well, technically, all of the easy races are basically warm up races because you know the rival's not even going to be there just to get used to the track because they have not raced on Carlos' track for a little while. And off we go. To the finish line. And we still have no sign of Tom Marcus. Easy victory. Mm. Again, I'll read up the lines of dialogue for you guys. I might have, maybe I lost today, but at least I learned something new. What is that? Never to challenge you again. Nice driving. Or maybe you should get some upgrades, you know. What a normal racer does, and what Carl has been doing. <laughs> and then I will up against, uh, who's his name? Chick Hicks. Bring it on, my guy. Let's go. Another very easy three in three. Two, one, goodbye Chick Hicks, your era is over with. Still no crash there, if you watched the last episode you'll know why. Might even just put a clip up now about what just happened while I'm racing, because you know. This race is just very easy, like, nothing ever happened. I pretty much left him behind in like the first five seconds. It's very easy. But then again, that was the first five races. Very, 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 very easy. Nobody ever turns up to just, you know, kick my ass. But then again, what, what are Easy's going to do? Charge with me at full power. And that's it. Another easy victory in the bag. More lines of dialogue to read. So here we go. I just don't understand what's got happening. This event was supposed to be the beginning of a new chick era. The era is over. Welcome to the generation of Veloso. Kachiga, Kachiga, K 
Kadoomed. Funny line of dialogue there. Now we're up against Mator. The tow truck. I'm actually just gonna skip this first scene because, you know, I've already seen Mater like a thousand times. And I've already seen just a different racer, similar like Tomarcus and stuff. Now if we go speeding along and just leave him in the dust again, this is another easy victory in the bay. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. As we jump over the gap, we get more of a gap between Mater. Because well, he's probably just smashing into walls and making himself more dense for his collection. We eat ourselves over here and go past the whiplash people, which is pretty much an addition to every track I'm doing from now on because I love that trick. Go around the corners, wave hi to the fans. And another easy victory in the bag. And now we have more dialogue to say. I am impressed, Mater. But I uh, lost, didn't I? Yes, but uh, um, I, just, I don't know how to say that. Landslide. Dadgum, I did pretty good. Yeah, for a tow truck. Alright, next up is... Oh no. Oh, that's son of a boost, isn't it? Yep, that's son of a boost. I wonder where we've seen you before. That's, that's ridiculous. This is what I meant with the boosts. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. What the hell? Oh yeah, you're the most annoying car in the whole game. Well, this is an easy... So, again, should he call the easy victory? Unless he doesn't use the boost like last time. Well, then again, he's an easy, so he won't catch up to me, and this track has very little turns. Not turns, tricks. For him to actually catch up. So, easy victory. Three, two, one. Goodbye, you annoying car. And off to the podiums we go. So, basically, for a little context, this film off, this very film off, was an irritating little bugger for, who's his name? Snorlax, when he did his first episode of Hard Casual. He did eventually beat him in episode 3, but that was for an upgrade, where he just pretty much kicked his ass. I'm done pretty much kicking his ass very well here. And there's no boost. No boost hearing from me. Maybe he heard about how annoying he was in the first episode of Cars Casual and the third episode of Cars Casual, so, so he pretty much took them all and just went, forget it, I'll just take the loss. And there's Fillmore in the dust, with more lines of dialogue to say. Let's read. Whoa, you totally blew me out of the water. Yeah, because you didn't have your boost to help you, didn't you? Like Miguel and all those who raced me after him. I told I am made to be a champion. I'll say, man, your driving is totally groovy. Now we're halfway through, the same point where Formal caused trouble for Snorlax. Now we're up against Flo. Let's go. Rhyme not intended. Ready and raring in three, two, one, blast off. Easy victory again, bloody bloody blah, 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 just talk over this section. I might even just have no dialogue here, because there's really not much to say. It's just me basically just beating flow. And you never see her again. This was the last easy race of the whole tournament. So, it was the last free practice round before I ended up actually having some competition to worry about. And I was actually looking forward to the competition because the others, including Fillmore, was piss easy. So now we are at the checkered flag and we have lines of dialogue. I do apologize that that area was completely stuffed. That was no script whatsoever to this. Anyways, <clears throat> that was some mighty fine racing. Best workout I've had in a while. I don't know how to say that. I'm just doing the best I can to show everyone that I'm a winner. Well, keep it up, honey. I love seeing a strong woman w win out on the track. 
Wow. Now we have our first medium, Raul Sarul. The next person to unlock after Shooter the Rocky. Bring it on. Ready to kick Raul in three, two, one, blast off. Still the only one getting the boost. Mr. Fans, if, again, if you saw episode three, you'll probably understand why. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably would have lost the race. Zip around the corner. I'm used to this track by now, so I'm pretty much getting past over all of them. Jumping over the gap. And basically, beating Raul. To be honest, this one was very much like the other ones. Very easy. It didn't really show up anywhere. Or just like out of nowhere, just go, hi. I'm gonna completely ruin your race. The only person who probably did that was Shu, but onto him later. Again, just zooming around the corners, and voila, we win the race. Nice. Now it's dialogue time. Better luck next time, Raul. Ha, the French don't need any luck. Yeah, because your stick is always in reverse. You'll find you will if you race me again. He needs it because his stick is always in reverse. <laughs> right, now we're up against Finn McMissile. Ready and raring. He's slightly faster, but that shouldn't really matter. Again, rhyme not intended. Let's go. Again, not much really happened here, so I'm actually just going to leave this part undialogued. So enjoy the race without me talking over it. See you at the finish line. Welcome back! Was that an easy race? Why, yes it was! Again, very easy race, but that was the last easy race I was going to have. Because next race was a challenge. Astounding. With that kind of skill, you could have a future in undercover work, Mrs. Veloso. I appreciate the compliment, sir, but I think I'll just stick to racing. That's probably a good way. Now we have our first and only hard race. Shu Todoroki, the man who is in the title of this episode. Right, hard race, I can do with hards. Bring it on! And for the first time in this episode, I actually lost a race! Yes, I got the star boost. And pretty much got every perfect turn I could. And every single trick I got right, but I still lost. Obviously, you could see Shooter the Roti was a very good challenger. I got everything right in this scene. Not scene. Race. Everything right, but something at the end messed me up to not win. It's not me smacking into a wall, it's primarily something to do with the game. Or it's just me acting dumb. So basically, I was ahead of Shu here. I got the perfect turn. I went to get the perfect turn, it didn't let me. Shu got the perfect turn, and that's what made me lose. I wasn't really too fussed, because it was just, well, he's a hard. I was going to have to lose at some point, anyway. So I gave him another shot, because, you know, that's what I'm like. Skipped that line of dialogue. Not line of dialogue scene, because we'd already seen that before. Again, I got the start, Shu didn't. And basically, this time, I actually dominated. Jumped up here, went around the corners, and basically beat Shu. All because of something which happened at the geyser jump. He messed up and fell down. And that's basically what, and it's basically a similar situation to Miguel, not Miguel, Boost in the episode 2. 
Again, if I put up a clip here, you'll see that he crashed out on both the rock jump and the whiplash speedway, and that gave me the victory. And the same thing happened here. Easy victory for Shu Todoroki, and we have unlocked him. All of his championship thingies done in one episode, and we have Shu now. Now let's read out the final lines of dialogue for this episode. Your track inspires me, Carla. Well, perfection is an inspiration. It's a blurry thing. No, no, no. This track is far from perfect. I make it realize I need to build one of my own. Track building is an art. I will show my mastery of it. Well, that's pretty good. Now we have Shoot to the Roki. And now we have the absolute that's final lines of dialogue with Tom Marcus of all characters. I thought it would be Miguel. Eh, regardless. Wow, it's the Shooter Doroki. I am a huge fan. Thank you. I'm always it's always nice to meet a fan. Welcome to Radiator Springs. I'm sure you're going to have a blast here. We've got shops and restaurants and well, you'll see. I'll stop talking and let you explore. We have Shooter the Rocky now. I think you can find him in town, I wanna expand it there. There he is. That was very easy. Let's quickly send Sarge over to the Cozy Pan Hotel and we will explore his track. Let's see Boost in the background. There's Max Chanel, another World Grand Prix racer. And the pit who I'm saving up for. Right. Shoot to the rookie. Let me see your track. Well, it seems like we have more lines of dialogue. Blah, blah. I heard that you were the building a new track. Indeed, track building is a true art and I aim to show that I'm an artist. Okay. With my work, my track will be the finest in the world. Maybe we could have a race and see. Yes, I have heard that your tires are incredible. I would like to see how they work on my track. Right. Here we go. It's a very long track. But what I'm actually going to do is not race him, but race... Um, no, instead. Just for a trip around the track while it's still in construction, because this is probably the only time you'll see the track in construction. Let's go. Brum, 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 brum. Three, two, one. Goodbye, Flo. I win the race. Bye. No tricks here, so there's absolutely no ridiculous catching up. The first trick doesn't come until like the first few corners in a race. I really suck at this track. I got lots of great turns, but then again, it was my first race here. I was gonna be like top notch. I'm not gonna be like incredible like that. Eh? I've got a few perfect turns here and there. Particularly towards the end. Because I was used to Miguel's track, and that track also has a lot of corners on it. Similar corners to shoes. I've got a piece for the Japanese flag. If I put up a clip now, you will see that Miguel's track has a lot of similar corners to this. And that's basically it for this episode, but I want to do one more thing before this episode draws to a close. I want to buy Mecha Mode. And I'm probably thinking, seriously? You are seriously buying a paint job? Well, yes. Probably just because I can't be bothered to race for one. And besides, it literally costs just one gem. If we head over there... That one costs a thousand, this one only costs one. So, let's buy it. And don't worry, I will actually go through and actually get him a proper paint job. It was a similar situation to... Who's his name? It's the wrong button. 
Let me f actually go and find him. Be head over. Where is he? 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 There he is. Komodo with his mecha mode. Watch I got his for free on this track. So thanks for watching. That'll be the end of this episode. Sorry, I just jumped ahead of myself. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Domo arigato.